Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at a hand tracking app, uh, this is still in alpha, uh, it's called Hand Physics Lab, uh, so you can see how the hand tracking works with the Oculus 2, and we need to, and we see whether it's good or not, so let's check it out. So Hand Physics Labs is an app uh, designed, uh, I'm just going to close the window, designed to work with the hand tracking of the Oculus Quest, hands not detected, oh, alright. And this is one thing about unique about this one. This is, was designed from the ground up just for hands, so no controller. I'm actually not using the controller. Uh, recent view start. So these are my hands. I'm probably gonna change when it started. So this is still in alpha, but different experiences. Um, just gonna press start. I'm just tapping the button with my finger. Welcome for the best hand tracking conditions. Have enough light in the room. Keep your hands in sight. Avoid touching your hands. Avoid touching your hands. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, initializing. So, yeah. All right. So these are my hands. So let's do one finger, second finger, third finger, four. Yeah. It's very accurate. My thumb can control each finger individually. Nice. Responsive. All right, experimental project. All right, to open the menu, close. Flip your palm, so like this. Touch the yellow bar to expand the UI. All right, cool. Uh, just a second. I need to see that it's not an urgent message. Of course not. Everything is junk. <laughs> all right, so, uh, so, so let's see. First of all, uh, we can grab this one let me just see oh let me grab it oh i'm grabbing it nice you see this extension of course it doesn't the app doesn't recognize my my arm but uh it just kind of uh fit in how it should be and it's quite accurate doing so all right let's grab this one oh where have you been buddy let me just grab you come on i'm grabbing it oh yeah so I'm holding the cup. Yeah, quite accurate. Again, not perfect, but very accurate. All right, so quite accurate. So let's close this one. And let's try the different ones. What is this one? Oh, so buttons. So we're gonna interact with buttons. Again, what you see here, what I'm doing in my hand is like almost exactly uh, what I'm doing uh, with my real hands. I mean, what I do with my virtual hands is what I do with my real hands. So I can do like this, fists. I can do hello. I can point. I can do win. You see? I can do four. I can do three. And actually, this is what I'm doing. Exactly what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. So I can just clap. All right. So let's press this button. And this button and this button and this button it's kind of it's kind of weird when you actually how you feel when you have these virtual hands uh, i prefer not something skeleton but that's okay let's go home and tap this one uh oh we can actually hold this by the way this is not too accurate as you can see even with the app <laughs> i'm not gramping it with my no it's not good Oh, this one is better but the thing is that with this one holding with the controller feel much better because you know it's not tactile you can't actually feel like you're holding it's like it's empty when you're holding so this is not this is not that kind of a like the best experience i just lost tracking whatever yeah so this one is not actually great let's try to grab this one and this one and try to hit something yeah all right, this is not actually a good experience because I can actually feel like I'm holding something. Of course, no weight, nothing, because in reality, I'm not holding anything. But this wasn't that good. I tried this with a controller, but the way you can, it's actually worked better with a controller for that particular one that we tried. So this is, or grab, the same thing with grabbing. It's kind of feel weird where you're actually not grabbing anything but here in, in virtual in the virtual world you can act, you're actually grabbing things uh, so that's why you want kind of a controller no controller kind of a, maybe a glove that allows you to feel things textures and force or something 
Uh, so we don't feel kind of empty because it's weird. Like it doesn't feel kind of right. All right, so let's try. Uh, by the way, the these ones. Yeah. I mean, if you're going and doing this, it's supposed to be kind of going all the way. Like create something. This is still not accurate. I'm actually right now I'm doing. I'm just using this one and cramping the other ones. But now it's actually, uh, it's not accurate because it doesn't actually detect the changes that I do. You see, now it does. Yeah, it's accurate, but not very, very accurate. And if I want to just do this, you see, just, yeah, it's not perfect. Yeah. Anyway, the other thing is with type of interactions is that can get your hands tired. Uh, I mean, uh, and I've seen this, you know, when you, kind of spend time playing with things uh, so if it's a game and lots of interaction eventually your head will get tired so this type of interactions maybe won't be kind of ideal especially if you're gonna keep your arms up like I do in this one like imagine like you're in front of a table and just keeping your hands and interacting with the game like this for a long time uh, you know you're gonna feel it uh, but it's something when you try it you know even if you're a developer you're gonna find out some interactions that might be good and others might not or how to optimize them all right and this is probably going, going to be feel very stick unfortunately i can i'm actually holding but there's nothing there's no weight of course but i'm actually holding this in two hands ah it lost tracking why you lost tracking yeah yeah i guess for some interaction is nice some gonna throw it I can throw it i throw it no, i didn't detect this it didn't detect the throwing <laughs> It didn't detect. I just opened my hands to throw it, but it didn't detect it. Ah, all right. Well, it wasn't that good. All right, next one. Again, it's experimental, this one. But even if you, I tried with the, with the um, introductory app but made by Oculus, and it still was kind of uh, not that great either. No. Oh, type. Type, it, won't be, it would be terrible, I think. Te, te, re, re. Ball. <laughs> I knew it. This is terrible. <laughs> oh my god, so unaccurate. All right, just can I throw things? Just no, you can't throw things, it's not designed to this. All right, uh, I don't know, losing tracking, losing tracking. All right, a pencil. Let's see if I can write something. All right, spooky. All right, so we try to write spooky. Oh my god, this is terrible. No, this is not good. No. This is, you see how inaccurate it is. Oh my god, for this type of thing. Just imagine where I need to paint something. But again, they might be different with other types of apps, but I try to write spooky and it just oh, by the way I can do something like this. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. <laughs> grab it already. Oh my god, grab it. And I can do this. Right, right, right. Doesn't work well. Can I just I just open my hands. So just leave it. <laughs> it can be frustrating. Eggs. All right. Let's see. I can grab an egg. I'm grabbing an egg. I said I'm grabbing. Actually, I can grab the other one as well. Uh, yeah, this one is actually nice. This one felt it's feeling good. Oh, oh, lost tracking. What's wrong with you? What? <laughs> lost tracking. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm just going to grab this. Grabbing. I'm grabbing. And what happened? I'm grabbing. Oh my God. It's going to feel weird. Oh. Huh. Anyway, not good. All right. Let's try another one. Oh, guns. Guns is actually working well. Oh. If I press, uh, use my finger, I shoot. Oh, this is actually nice. It actually detects. Yeah, it detects. Look, pressing now, uh, not perfectly, but so. All right, so let's shoot. Oh, shoot! No, come on! Don't lose. What? What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Shoot! Oh my God, this is not good. I mean, for a moment I thought it would be good. No, lost. What? Never mind. Never mind. It is an experimental indeed. 
What is this one? Do not touch. I won't touch it again. <laughs> um, Alright. Oh, well, by the way, uh, oh, this one. Fist shape, move your hand to the... Alright. You can do this, you see? Look. You have like superpowers and look like this. It's kind of for doing it for... Um, like a magician, you have powers, superpowers, like superhuman. And you can just do things like this. Yeah. All right. Again. Mm, okay. This is okay, but not that great. Okay. I can grab this one. By the way, playing with little things like this, with those, is so much fun in VR. Um, so imagine kind of abusing. You know those abusing apps that you have. You have like a creature. You can just abuse it. <laughs> uh, not promoting abuse, but it's fun. Uh, oh, where's my other hand? I just lost it. Oh my, what happened to my hand? What's happening? I don't know, don't ask me what's happening. He just lost, loses tracking for the sun, I don't know why. Revive, come. Come, you'll be fine. Ah, I think I know what's happening. I think I know, I'm just outside maybe of the... Come here, closer. Yeah, I think I'm just out of the area of the VR, so that's why. Now it's actually working fine. Hello, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did you just grab you? Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Respawn. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, imagine there are other things here where I can actually kind of uh, uh, drown. No, no, I didn't say that. I mean, taking care of you, taking care of you. Are you okay, buddy? What? Release you? No problem. Oops, sorry. Uh, this was pretty cool, by the way. This one I like. Uh, what is that? Oh, what are you gonna do here? Oh, I just burned myself. Glove maker. Glove maker. What do you mean glove maker? Bone painter. Pretty cool. Wow. I mean, I like the idea, but it's any accurate, so it's good to some degree. Oh, this is me. So now I can actually see myself, and you can see my interactions. I need to go a bit f back. You can see the area. I know you can actually see it. So you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> nice. All right. Cool. Uh, happy birthday to me. So we're going to take this one and put the candles, like the candles. And put it. I said I uh, lost tracking again because it's too far. I think I need to calibrate it. This one. <laughs> it's actually in the area. I don't know why it does that. So this one. Respawn. Oh. Come, come. Hello. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. So overall, what can I say? Uh, the thing is that whatever I try with hand tracking with the Oculus Quest 2, it just works not great. And, uh, you know, and it's just inconsistent, not too accurate. And there are better technologies out there. Hopefully, they will be implemented in some way or another with uh, maybe a new update uh, firmware, maybe a new add-on to the Oculus Quest because there are ones that are very, very accurate. Even Facebook actually is working one on one that is very, very accurate. But again, this is not the one. So this is definitely not something that I would use. If I was a developer, I wouldn't use it. I mean, just maybe again for experimental things, but not something that in a game just doesn't work well. I prefer working with the controller and with the controller, many things, especially for many games where you hold things, it just feels better overall. Like when I'm holding like a gun or I'm holding a, you know, the, the saber uh, in Beat Saber, you know, I feel I'm holding something. And of course, it's very easy to control things with the trigger because it reacts fast rather than relying on an interaction, accurate interaction with the hand. As you see, with the, even with the guns, it just wasn't good. It's just terrible. I mean, the potential is there, but it's just not good. I'm shooting. 
Yeah, if I build a game like this, nobody would play it because again, the controls are just uh, terrible. Let's close now, now, now. Ah. Some postures actually work working, others not. Oh my god, I didn't even intend to make it fall. Anyway, you understand this. So again, when it's accurate, and it will be accurate with other future technologies and tracking technologies, it would be perfect for many type of games. And it will lead developers to develop unique games that are built around this. But until then, it just doesn't work. So again, we need better hand tracking. And by the way, in the future hand tracking, you can do whatever you want like this. If I overlap my hands right here, it doesn't detect. You see, just getting lost. But with the future ones, I can do whatever I like with the hands. And it will just detect it perfectly. The gestures that I'm doing with both hands, whether they're overlapping, intersecting, uh, uh, and if one is occluded or not, will be just perfect. But right now, uh, it's kind of a complete mess, <laughs> to be honest. But this is Hand Physics Lab. It's really great that actually developers are wo working on something to actually demonstrate what's capable. If I was a developer developing VR games, uh, this is one thing that I want to try. I think about different type of ideas that I can create games with, right? Once the technology comes that it is much more accurate, um uh, we can uh if i was a developer we start developing things right away uh but yeah uh so yeah there are different uh, great technology out there by the way you can check it out um uh on the web just search for hand tracking technologies for vr and ar application you're going to find plenty of uh, companies working on this including facebook by the way so this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed this one and found this one interesting uh probably won't play this one again but again uh, thanks for danny connard Sorry, pronouncing this wrong. For actually making this, because yeah, this is great for actually developers who are trying, or even uh, just uh, players who are trying to uh, you know see what this end tracking is all about. So thank you, and see you on the next video. And you're gonna say bye bye, and like this, and winning, and fists. Oh my god! Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.